truth. The truth. That's the lie. It's the truth. The truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, The Truth, here. And the other day I made a video about a subject the media doesn't seem to be covering. It's about Bob Menery and his beef with Kyle from Nelk. So in today's video, we're going to expand on that. We're going to talk about Bob Menery and if he's in rehab, also what Dana White had to say. I'm also going to explain what Steiny has to do with this whole situation. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So at the time of making this video, the last short got 278k stupid dummy viral for your boy don't forget to subscribe i don't know what a saboner is sounds like something steiny wakes up with in the morning but uh guessing that means subscribe where's my money where is it curious curious where the fuck is my money so after bob's rant i read a lot of the comments and a lot of them said the same thing it went up your nose. Those people scream my money was spent on cocaine. Zap the fuck out. This definitely seems like the actions of someone who was on drugs. So besides comments stating that he is on drugs, there was also a lot of these stating they didn't know who Bob was if it wasn't for full send. So a few things about Bob. He's got a very large social media following. He also used to be the voice of Buffalo Wild Wings, and also he does voiceovers, sports related. In fact, let's take a look. Here is his Instagram. You could go on it and click on it and then watch a video. I mean, everywhere we go, this little shit is there, and he's fucking with us, and I know it. Outside for a ball, that's a full count. Let's cut back to him. Give him the stage as he stares us down. Pretty sure this is the same kid who spray painted our car in the parking lot. He's been to several events, and now I guess we're in a staring contest, and he's not budging. He's got a lot of confidence for an 11-year-old. He's like a kid that got laid for the first time. Either that or he's going to blow up a fucking shopping mall. I'm not sure. I can't get a read on those eyes of his. But anyways, let's get back to baseball. This kid wins. So that is what Bob does, and he actually had a career before Nelk. You could make the argument Nelk kind of blew him up and gave her a wider audience, and yeah, I would agree with that. Something you might not know is how Steiny ties into all of this, and the reason it looks like Bob may be on drugs. I want to let you know, right before you got here, my friend called me, and he works with this dude, Bob Menery. And I was like, okay. who the fuck is Bob Menery? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck is Bob Menery? He's like, he's this up-and-coming guy, he's a huge podcast, um... What he year does was voiceovers. this at? Well, like, what, what? This was two and a half, three years ago. Okay, okay. okay. Right before I get on my flight, I talked to that Brian Zurif guy, the producer, and he's like, yeah, Bob wants to meet you next Wednesday. So this is a story about how Steiny was interviewing to be Bob Menery's assistant, and this is Steiny before he knew anyone from Nelk, before he knew anyone in Hollywood. He had just flown out, and this was his first interaction. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I was like, yo, bro, like, I'll see you next Wednesday. Looking forward to it. He's like, nah, fuck that. Let's, let's meet tonight. Okay. And so I had just got there, bro. Okay. And that's Bob. Like, he gets excited. I don't even know. It's yeah, ADHD. Yeah. And he's like, yo, let's do this right now. And you had a plan to just chill for a week. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. holy shit, yeah. dude. It's my first day in LA, bro. Bob steps away from the, uh, that booth, and me and him go sit at a bar table for maybe five minutes. He's like, asking me, like, yo, do you, uh, do you want a drink? And I'm like, dude, this is, a, is this like an interview? Like, what is this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, yeah, no, this guy's, this guy's a genius, man. So I didn't know him or anything about him yet. Yeah. I didn't know he, like, was like that and drank like that. So uh, he, me and him talked for, like, five minutes. He saw my Aria shirt, started talking about Vegas gambling, which he's, he's a gambler. So we hit it off that way. And uh, he, all, of course, hits me with the... All right, yo, dude, so we got, like, five or six other candidates coming in. Like, you know, this is a very, Classic. very high, like, demand position. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Definitely didn't meet with anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> so should we do this? And I'm like, what do you mean, <laughs> yes, dude? Like, like, yeah, you're supposed to hire me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he called me. He's like, all right, yeah, yeah, let's do this, bro. I want you to be at my place uh, in Santa Monica at uh, 9 a.m. tomorrow. 11 p.m., maybe maybe midnight. Bob Mannery text. Yo, what's good? <laughs> <laughs> yo, what's up, bro? He's like... Do you know where I can get a couple of Adderall, like Zaps? Yeah. And I was like, dude, I just moved here, no idea. And uh, 
he just kept firing like no all good but like if you could find him that'd be great like, yeah it was like 2 or 3 a.m pulled up to my friends and he gave me one and i i pulled up at bob's at like eight thirty nine, gave it to him and like at that point he was he like knew. he was like dude I love so it. that's how Steiny became Bob's assistant, as we all know. Later on, became Steve's assistant and uh, moved on to the Full Send podcast. There is some drama there, as we all know. Steve is a little hurt by uh, Steiny leaving him for the podcast. But more importantly, we know Bob does Adderall, and that could be what we're seeing when he made that video. Could be cocaine, could be other drugs. Uh, we really don't know, but we do know Bob went a little crazy and uh, Dana White had to check him real quick. So Dana White says, Bob, keep me out of your bullshit. You are an absolute puss and I told you that and you are delusional and blew the biggest opportunity of your life. Now move on like a big boy. Yes, you introduced me and Kyle and then you cried about it forever. So I gave you 50k. So shut the fuck up. It's embarrassing. So Dana admits that Bob introduced him to Kyle. Bob might be feeling some type of way because Kyle and Dana became very close. In fact, Dana became very close with a lot of the Nelk boys. So as a token of his appreciation, Dana slid Bob 50 grand. You know... For Dana, that's like one of us handing someone 25 bucks. Like 50 grand is nothing for him. But now you got Bob in his feelings because he was the one who introduced them. And uh, maybe he feels a little jealous that they became so close. As we all now know, Bob felt like he needed more money from the podcast, which led to an argument between him and Kyle. Bob eventually not showing up for the game interview, which led to him getting kicked off the podcast entirely. Bob later taking to social media saying he is owed some money, and then Kyle replies and said, Bob made over 1.2 million. Bob is saying on social media that we owe him money. That is a complete lie. We don't owe Bob Mennery a cent. He's also saying that he had the worst deal, a terrible deal for the podcast. But, guys, in the 10 months that he was on the show, he made $1.2 million. I don't know who's lying, who's telling the truth, but I would think Bob should have some type of paperwork that they signed before starting the podcast. So the next day, Bob might have regretted what he did. Maybe he woke up with a hangover and thought, damn, I was really getting crazy. And uh, you can pause it and read that if you want. I'm not going to go through it. But this leads us to the very last question. Where is Bob now? Is he in rehab? So these last few days, Bob has been silent on social media. The last time he posted, it was a story saying he had been dealing with some mental health issues. He said they had started before all this drama with Nelk. And he felt like it was time to finally handle it. He was kind of hinting maybe it was a drug thing. Maybe it was just some mental health. Maybe it was both. He did say it was an issue he had been dealing with for a while now. And it was finally time for him to get some help. So you can take that how you want. I would imagine he is in a rehab now. If you like Bob, if you don't, let's just hope he gets the help he needs and comes out with a fresh mind. And maybe he could squash the beef and clear up all this drama and we could all move on from here i will be posting whatever i hear and i am still waiting to get to the truth of these contracts do they owe bob money do they not owe him money i would like to know soon because this is your boy the truth aka paul pierce aka george washington because i cannot tell a lie and i'm out